Hello there ladies and gentlemen, this is Orphan Last and today I'm going to go ahead and show you an alternative way to do the cleanup. Uh, I've decided this is how I'm going to do it primarily because uh, the other method uh, took too much time grabbing all these green lines and having to try to delete them. So we're going to try this a different way. Okay, so uh, we're going to create a new level and we're going to call it uh, uh, Hit Man Cleanup. Okay, and that works for me. Uh, it's a tuned vector layer, and that's cool. So let's go ahead and go OK. And for some reason, it's all the way down there. All right, let's move it all the way up. Okay, so first of all, we've got a bunch of finished work in this um, specific set of levels. I'm going to go ahead and copy those. Um, for, let, let's see if it does the same stupid thing that it did last time. If I go into here and press paste uh, keep original palette replace with copied palette keep original palette I don't know what that means exactly so one second here so if I go here and, okay so if I draw a line here on this level okay so it's not interrupting with this one okay Woo! Okay, so that that was my problem last time when I was trying to show you guys um, uh, how I was doing the cleanup. I had these two levels. Uh, one was supposed to be roughs, and one was supposed to be cleanup. And I was going to just not ha like deactivate the other one. Um, basically, uh, it, it was supposed to be like this. Basically, so I have two animations for. Or, or two levels uh, for the punching man, okay? And one of them is the cleanup, and one of them is the the rough. And uh, so, as you can see, it, like it, it worked out pretty well for that one. But uh, you know, an option popped up when I created the second layer or the second uh, column for the rough to the cleanup, and I selected the wrong option. And uh, whatever changes I made to, to the new one, those changes wound up being applied to the old one as well, the, 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 um, the rough version. And so um, that led to me making some decisions, and I wound up losing <laughs> like 90% of my animation for the hitman, the guy getting hit. And so uh, that's really frustrating. So I'm going to go ahead and select all of this, and actually I'm going to select these and throw them in here. I'm going to go ahead and just Control X at, in order to delete that. It, it, Control X is basically cut, but when you're working with the level strip, you can press oh yeah, you press delete and you just delete the drawing. You don't delete the level, and uh, by and large, you don't want to delete levels. You don't want to delete your drawings, otherwise you might run into an issue where I basically wound up deleting all of my artwork and uh, wasn't able to get it back so um, best not to do that so what the heck is oh okay so what's going on is okay so I'm gonna go ahead and just start the cleanup process what oh, oh okay so this I need to do my timing and get it to match basically is what the uh, thing is telling me why is it 714 oh okay it's because okay I understand alright so something is not working out here okay I know what's going on first I'm gonna go ahead and delete all this crap it turns out that uh, well not delete all of it but okay, so it turns out um, if you notice, this is all 1, 3, 5, 7, 14, 1, 3, 5, 7, 8. So something else is something different is happening than what's going on here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and just select all that I have in my X sheet, right click, and go auto renumber. And now these are going to be more closely. Uh, ordered to how they appear on the X sheet. Um, I say more closely because uh, what happens 
is sometimes it just glitches out and it just places things in some weird random order. So now I can go ahead and select all of these, copy, go over here. I'm just going to, oops, I'm going to select all of these, cut, and then paste. Why did I do that? Okay, 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 I see what happened. Okay, cut these, select all of these again, copy, paste. Uh, keep original palette, I believe, is what the option was. Uh, let's see. And if I deactivate this... Okay, cool. So changes are not being applied to both. All right. <sighs> okay, so I have five minutes or six minutes. Uh, maybe I can get into this uh, pretty quickly here. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and select all of these and just, oh, it did it all weird. Select all of these and throw them into the X sheet. Now, uh, once I get the timing just right, I can go ahead and just uh, reframe twos. Uh, it went overboard. Okay. Now we can go ahead and start the cleanup process. I'm going to go ahead and reduce the opacity to this one. Um, not quite that significantly, but okay. About 42% looks great. I can go ahead and at this point... I can go ahead and just start selecting a drawing and see what parts of the asset I can keep in order to uh, keep on going. So I don't think I'm going to be using this arm at all, really. And so I'm just going to go ahead and delete that. Oops, select. And this arm I can probably use parts of that arm so um, I'm just gonna go ahead and start drawing everything I guess okay so wanna make my lines look really good because this is a cleanup it's not just some draft that I'm doing so it's going to be basically just me drawing. Like there's nothing really too meaningful that's going to be happening here. And um, well, let's see. Well, actually, no. I'll just keep showing you me drawing because this is basically what the cleanup process is. You're you're taking an image from sketch to drawing and basically my idea is hey why don't I just uh, draw a whole bunch of fingers all the way down here and this is actually something that's used in animation quite a bit actually this is this is this is fairly common what I'm doing here and I'm gonna go ahead and use the cut tool and I have a keyboard shortcut for that Actually, no, I'm not. I'm going to select this vector and th this vector and just delete it, and make life easier for myself. Control point editor, brush. Okay, so. No. No. Because he's wearing a t shirt, basically. Alright, and now I need to think about what the anatomy will be. Um, when his arm is down here, even though his whole arm is skewed for the sake of a motion blur effect, it, you still have to kind of think about the anatomy and everything like that to some extent. And I don't really use this skew effect in order to uh, animate very often. But basically, the reason why I want to do this version of the cleanup is just so that I don't have to keep clicking on all these green lines and try to delete them all and uh, maybe not delete them all and wind up having them interfere with the painting process, the coloring process depending on how I want to do the coloring process. I can think of two ways that I might want to do it and anyways, that's it for this video. Please like, share, and subscribe. I hope you enjoyed. I hope it was useful. I hope it was informative. Have a nice day.